When you only have two cows, detecting heat can be a bit of a challenge. We'd been told that it was important to have two cows for both companionship and detecting heat. However, the less dominant cow, Sangria, will not mount Allie, our black cow. Even when Sangria was in heat, she did not stand to be mounted. But with other indicators, we've been able to detect heat in both cows. Cows typically come into heat every 21 days. Some of the initial signs of heat are bellowing, pacing fence lines, being more alert, spending increasingly less time eating, being more aggressive, headbutting, and other behaviors. However, for breeding purposes, the cow must be in standing heat when bred. To narrow the window for watching my cows, I initially begin by making a calendar to track their cycles. Our cows seem to fall into the normal 21-day cycle. As most cows bleed off, one to three days after estrus, I start by checking two times per day for bleed off. And I mark the calendar and then watch for their next heat 18 to 20 days later. When I reach day 18, I begin to monitor the cows more closely for an extended period of time. Four times per day, 15 minutes per time. Watching for secondary signs or mounting behavior and making notes of my observations. I modify my watch times according to daylight hours if it is winter. Or in summer, I observe earlier in the day or later in the evening as cows sometimes exhibit more mounting activity when the temperatures are cooler. It is becoming easier to observe heat following the birth of our steers. We have finally observed a cow standing to be mounted, although Allie still didn't mount Sangria. According to a study published by Virginia Tech and corroborated by data in an excellent article from Select Sires, conception rates are highest when AI is performed between 4 and 16 hours after the onset of estrus, or the first standing event. Since most individuals or operations probably don't see the first standing event, they recommend if you observe your cows less than four times daily to perform AI within four to six hours after first observation. If you observe more frequently, breeding should occur approximately six to 12 hours after first observing standing heat. The biggest thing I've noticed breeding these two for you people mm -hmm. is the track is so close. Over the years, breeding Holsteins for my son Aaron and big Guernseys for myself, he'd come out and have manure on the ear. He'd be in so far, and you notice that I, I went all, all up to my wrist. That's, you know, I mean, I bring it up because it's huge, the difference. And so, calving was wide, I got that thing just kind of rolled right out. I have the first angular ring, but sometimes after they've had a calf, you get some different kind of scar tissue or whatever and you just kind of have to work at it a little more just as I say that there you go feels fantastic that went well I like to keep record of which bull we breed to which cow the date and time and then note the due date after we send in a pregnancy test 30 days post breeding I later add when she calved and how much the calf weighs and any other applicable information regarding cost for the breeding we call this cozy cow family farm David, why should they watch our next video? Because the mommy cow has her baby cow. Do you just love its little face? Yes. Yeah.